In this one particularly. More than 100 intrepid off-roaders converged on Freiburg, and the opening race section consisted of a 70-kilometer loop starting and finishing in Freiburg. This would determine start positions on day two. Pre-race favourites were Philip Malone and Richard Leake in the Toyota Hilux. Today is a very important situation to the finish of the day, so that we can go to the first place. But with the Kalan, Thomas Schler and his massive monster that here is, is this maybe far sought to think we will get the right. We have to try to do it, because Mora will have a very big sprint to get the stuff out of it. The Toyota pair faced stiff competition from the likes of previous winners Hannes Grober and Piet Sonnepel in the Nissan Skyline Rally car. We were very busy to get the other voertuig to get ready for the field race. He was unfortunately not able to sleep and when we were here in the field race, we had to decide to get the time 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 to get the time. Brothers Klaus and Gant Degener in the Duncan's Tenerife were confident of a good result. I think the main competition must be uh, Philip Milan and Richard Leake in the turbocharged uh, Toyota Hilux. Uh, Klasse Kutzea, uh, if they don't have any problems, will definitely be a challenge. Then of course Hannes is there in his rally car. Um, the Audi Quattro has won it before. It's not that rough a race that a rally car can't do well. So I would say those three are my main sort of competition. The first racing section produced a few problems for some of the more fancied competitors like Milan and Leek in the Toyota, who had to be content with a fourth fastest time. The Storyland trial determines grid positions for the start of the race proper, and there is always a scramble for the top positions. The first major casualties were the Degener brothers. Only 20 kilometers into the race, they blew the Chenoweth's engine and were forced to hitch a ride back to the main road. Bang, yeah. Five and a half hours. It wasn't actually that much. Coming into a turn in a mini field. And I just said bang, and that was it. That's your end of the race. The whole one, fortunately, yeah. Electric group. We can't change motors, so that's it. There were also problems for former national rally and off-road champions Grobler and Swanepoel. Grass clogged up the Skyline's fuel system and it cost the pair 40 minutes, putting the Springboks well down the list. They eventually dropped out altogether on the final day. Veteran Jack Spencer and Steve Vermark in the Duckham Sandmaster set fastest time of the day to snatch pole position after Milan and Leek in the Toyota Hilux also ran into problems. Second fastest time went to Robin Yates and Wildman Bales in the Permastic Race Co with rally stars Cossie Kutsia and Wally Harrington third fastest in the BP Nissan. Fastest qualifier Jack Spencer was in a confident mood. Happy, we must just uh, try and keep on the route and uh, in that respect I've got Steve Remark to look after me. Should be alright. At the end of the first section the top 10 positions on the start grid saw an even split between the Buckies and the single and twin seater space frame vehicles. The motorfiets of the Lenin Kenners had the time strength to some four years for Spell. Jeremy Davies of the Drive Lines Kawasaki had for his third after the following overwinning in Dieren Gemuk, and he was the Gunsling to win the prize for him to spite. I'm going to give it a good go this year. There's a lot of competition, and uh, I think it's going to be a, a, a dice between me, Alfie, and Willie Ireland right to the end. But uh, I'm going to go for a, a good time today. and. Uh, Try out from the front and set the pace. It's difficult because uh, you have to do a lot of navigating and get lost. You run against the traffic and that, but I'll give it a good bash. It's always nice to start off in front, but I like to just start maybe second or third or let somebody else lead the pack because somebody, somebody always goes wrong, you know, and you always got that pressure behind you if you're in front. Um, so. But if I just come in on the first three, it's, that's fine. The three of the company will be the look of the green of KTM, so well as Alfie Cox, who said NGK Kawasaki, so work for Davies on a third class. You know, this is a hell of a race, eh? 1,000 kilometers of the sometimes the worst conditions that you could ever come across. To Toyota 1000 is known as the desert race of all desert races. He finished the winter fits conference in the Easter Hens conference Hilton Beatty inside green of KTM. Hij was amper een minuut voor Davies met Armin Derde en Patrick Andrews voerde. Gavin Nuno was volgende op oor Winston Yamaha met die 50-jarige Joe van Altena, die oudste jaar in die bijeenkomst zeste op het 200 CC Kawasaki. Die fikse van Altena was vol saamvertouwe en gereed om een jonge jaar zijn binnen 2 te wees. 
When they look over their shoulder, if they see me biting on the front of my helmet, boy, they know I don't give in. Well, race well. And in 87, I won the roof in the 200 class. I'm ready for them. Anytime, anywhere, you tell us youngsters, JVA is ready. Nou ja, die uitslaan vir die motorfietsafdeling toen dat die Kawasaki span vier plekke verover het in die top 10, ten oor die drie elk van KTM en Yamaha. The Kalahari 1000 Desert Race has certainly lived up to its reputation once again. They start off with a stellar land trial which predetermines grid positions on the start of the second day. A cold northern Cape day dawned, but things were destined to hot up for the races. The route for the second day saw competitors head for the refuel at Linnepen and then set sail for Taylor's Pan on the Botswana border via Hinnon Flay Pan. Milan and Leek and the Toyota Hilux lost little time in forging their way to the front on day two. They stormed ahead of the crews in front of them and at the refuel they had opened up a sizable lead. At Taylor's Pan they were 11 minutes ahead of Reinecke Andrea in the Nissan who won this event two years ago. Renica Andrea moved ahead of Cassie Kutsia and Wiley Harrington in another safari, with a third safari fourth in the hands of Linton Draper and Peter Smith. Yates and Bowles were leading Class 8 with Richard Carolyn in front in Class 9 in Brother Buck's Carolyn's Lubrication Equipment Race Car, while Dave and Greg Gurney were having a good run to lead Class 4 in an Isuzu. The top 10 at the end of racing section 2 saw the Buckies starting to dominate. There were six Buckies in the top 10, maintaining a Toyota 1000 tradition. The winning confrontation for the day was ongetwijfeld die between Willie Island and Jeremy Davies. Die two years had the yellow pad gevecht and the river terrain gereeld langs elkaar aangepakt to a speed of 170 km per hour. Alfie Kanks had also good gevaar to be first the years in sight to hold, and by the end of the day, he was only 90 seconds after him. The aanvankelijke voorloper hield in BT was vierde, ondanks the beenbesering, which was met the time so long to be able to Davies was for in the 500 cc class, Island in the 250 cc class, and Van Altena in the 200 cc class. The veteran Van Altena was echter ook to help him, nadat he was in the fall slag gebreek het. On the end of the second day was Kawasaki in a strong position with four fietsen in the first 10 places. All the eyes were on Davies and Island. Gerig. At Taylor's Pan, crews took a well-earned rest. The bar fires were started, there was plenty of opportunity to discuss the day's racing and it all adds up to the special appeal of the Toyota 1000. Early the next morning it was back to serious racing with Milan and Leek in the Toyota Hilux leading the field away on the final leg of what was turning into a real cliffhanger. The final section saw crews backtrack along the previous day's route. The warm welcome waiting back at Freiburg Motor Club was something to look forward to. Reinecke and Drea quickly put the pressure on Milan and Leek and at the refuel had made up 10 minutes. The Toyota had developed gearbox problems and Milan and Leek lost four-wheel drive. Renica and Drea moved into the lead but were to run into problems of their own. They first hit a car and then managed to take a wrong turn. It cost them valuable time and gave Milan and Leek some breathing space when they moved back into the lead. Yates and Bales were going well in third spot in the Permastic race car and still headed class eight ahead of Spencer and Vermark in the Duckham Sandmaster. Further down the field, Bill Angus and Derek Weatherall were leading Class 3 in their battered Toyota Hilux after a high-speed encounter with a tree, and Alfred van Furen and Piet Pelser were in the leading Class 5 in another Toyota Hilux. Richard Carolyn was also going well in Class 9, as were the Peterson brothers at the head of the Class 10 field. For Kutsia and Harrington, however, it was the end of the road shortly after the refuel when they retired with mechanical problems. For Milan, it was his first Toyota 1000 Desert Race win, with Leek scoring his second success. You have a bit of a problem, tell us about it. It was basically the rap gas, it was here, we got it. It was a good one, the hand in the hand, the whole pad. We had to take it, we had to take it, we had to take it, we had to take it. Die man had jylle ingaan ook op die stadium daar, daar was net een minuut verskil op een stadium. Ja, want ons het my net die kaart probeer spaar en spaar en spaar en toe besluit ons dat het spaar had my nie meer. Hoe my met dit vallen en toe rei ons. Springbok navigator Leek busted battle scars with blisters the result of holding the gear lever in place over the final 200 kilometers. Renica Andrea charged home to a well-earned second place after a race long tussle with Milan and Leek. Ons was so omtrent vir 150 km voor Philip 
En net voordat die paviel gereed zijn bij ons voorbij en was aan zijn stof, was het moest ik dat toch nog iets raak gereed. The popular Robin Yates and Wildman Bells drove consistently to finish third overall and also had the distinction of being the first twin-seater crew across the line. Class 3 victors Bill Angus and Derek Weather all found the going a little tough in their Toyota Hilux. For the refuel point, on the way, on the way back, and we were on a high-speed section, about 140 kilometers an hour, and the car jumped out the track and went sideways into a big tree. And we obviously very grateful for that, that we actually get got out safely because we would have rolled many times if I for the tree. However, we're all safe and sound and, and back home. That's all that counts. The event produced a dream result for Toyota who not only clinched overall victory but also took the honors in three classes and in the prestigious manufacturer's team award. Die motorfietsjaars kon minstens twee uur langer as die vier uur brigade slaap en kenners het een taanstrijd tussen Davies, Island, Cox en Beattie verwacht. Het is echter gelijk as het die geluk nie aan Beattie se kant was nie. Die besierde Beattie moes met haar tijd onttrek, voorom met die strijd tussen Island, Davies en Cox echter onverpoost voortgedier. Island op die Green op KTM was eerste by die Lung op een hervolpunt, meer as een minuut voor Davies met Cox op die NGK Kawasaki, ook steeds in die prankie in die derde plek. Na van Altenis onttrekking was Ralf Pitchford ook op een Kawasaki voor in die 200 CC klas. Hy is gevolgd door John Hodgson op die KTM en Jason Andrijko wat al by bestendig gejaag het. Die uitersfikse Davies het in die laaste 200 kilometer van die route daarin geslag om onder kaks en eiland uit te suil dier die groter kracht van sy 500 cc fiets doeltreffend in te span. Hy was by die eindpunt 6 minute voor sy Kawasaki span maak. Voor die tevrede kaks was dit die tweede achter die volgende jaar wat hy tweede geëindig het in die taaie wetering. We really set up with a quick pace this morning, so I just had a hold there. I knew after about 100 odd k's that it got quicker and I, I got the legs on him there. So if I could stay with him to there, I could pull him on the quick stuff. So when I, mean, I got to the fourth stop and he wasn't there, I knew I could hold the arm, so it's nice to be in. A meal of Willie Island of Sy Green up County M, but once they were in the grip on the ground, it was with the third place to free the wheels. I couldn't even speak, I couldn't have it through the whole time, I couldn't even see anymore. Met oorwinnings in al drie die klasse was Toyota's woestijnrein een siege vir Kawasaki. Ook Davies was meer as gelukkig met sy derde achter die volgende oorwinning in die rein, wat ook in 1985 door sy broer Maak ingepallem is. But when all is said and done and you've completed the desert race, you know you're a winner.